So we have time travel in The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon? Well, can we time travel for him to see Rick so that we can finally get this crap over with? Alright guys, this one's gonna be Do Night View today. This one's gonna be Do Night View for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon. The book... I don't have to say that name anymore. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Season 3. This one, we're going to be... I'm going to leave that in the video, too. Yeah, that's, screw them for making long titles. Anyway, I'm back for another Daryl Dixon video, guys. Uh, this one is one that I definitely wanted to discuss. You guys were kind of letting me know about this one. There are reports on this. Uh, nothing official yet. So, of course, make sure to take this statement with a grain of salt. Um... Very big grain of salt, um, but you guys know I always cover Walking Dead information, whatever it is, whether it's officially announced or rumored stuff, and in this case, we have rumored stuff going on. So, apparently, Daryl Dixon Season 3 is going to be going into time traveling, um, and apparently, there is going to be a lot of time travel involved in the storytelling of Daryl Season 3. Now, what do we think about this? Um... Now, I have to be honest about one thing. I have never been a fan of, of time travel stuff. I find it to be very cringeworthy. Um, I also find it to be very annoying in storytelling when they do stuff like that because it's very confusing. It's very tough to keep up with, and you're not really sure what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes to The Walking Dead, when it comes to a zombie apocalypse series doing a time travel Look, I'm not saying it couldn't work. There's absolutely a way that this could work. But, I, you know, it's very few and far between. I mostly don't like time travel because I find it interrupts stories. You know, one of my least favorite things in storytelling with time traveling especially is, let's say you're in the middle of a scene, you know what I mean? You're watching a sequence go down. And then you'll get randomly this person, you know, that's taken to another timeline, you know what I mean? And then they're there for a little bit, and then they go back to where they were, and then they go back, and then they go there, and then they go back, and then they go there, and it keeps, you know, keeps alternating. You know, that stuff I can't stand, you know? Um, it's a trope that I've seen them uh, do in Lost, uh, if, you, if you, a, a, anybody's seen the show Lost, and I find that to be kind of frustrating at times. So, you know, <laughs> I really don't feel like The Walking Dead needs to do time traveling. Also, what the hell would you time travel to, you know what I mean? Like, would Daryl time travel? travel to like him being somewhere else you know what I mean like I, I don't know you know it, it's a weird one to me it's a really really weird one I just don't know why they would do that in the storytelling here's the thing we're stuck with it if it is the case because season three is in filming right now so if they're doing it they're doing it you know what I mean um but it, it's just it's weird to me it's not really a, a tactic I expected the walking dead to do again take this with a grain of salt guys because this could be fake but it is rumored stuff and apparently this is actually kind of blowing up right now a lot of people are talking about it so I figured I'd kind of give my opinions on it but time travel in the walking dead not really sure if that's necessary as a matter of fact I would strongly advise them and I would say that it's not necessary um but they're gonna do it if they're gonna do it you know what I mean now again I'm not sure what timeline Daryl would travel to you know what I mean because like would he travel further back or would he travel in the future and you see him in Egypt or something <laughs> you know I don't know um and it's kind of a mystery of like oh how'd he get there you know what I mean oh you gotta watch the season you know I I don't freaking know um we'll see we'll see what they do we'll see what what kind of you know comes of this right now I'm saying that I don't really like the idea I don't want to see time travel I really don't um but again, we got to get more information. We got to find out more because again, this is just kind of a thing that I've been hearing about. Uh, this could absolutely go nowhere, but it also could go somewhere. And if it goes somewhere, I hope it's not as stupid as it sounds. Let's put it that way. Um, but again, you know, time will tell. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you into the whole time travel idea? Do you think that that's a good idea for Daryl Dixon to tackle? I mean, hell, this show, I mean, it, it's out there in a lot of different ways anyway. I mean, Daryl's going all around the world, going to different countries every season. This show is out there. This show does some outrageous things. It definitely does. More outrageous than the original Walking Dead. Maybe not gore-wise and stuff, but just the stuff that they come up with in this show, honestly, is, is more out there than the main series. Um, you could view that as either a compliment or a uh, diss. I mean, honestly, take your pick. But um, yeah, no, honestly, I think uh, this will be... It, it, it's different. I mean, you know, like like Norman Reedus said, he's like, the thing that'll keep him coming back to play Daryl Dixon is if every season they do something different, fresh, unique, exciting. Well, it's fresh. It's different. It is unique. I will give it that. It is definitely a unique thing. Um, that's kind of what makes me believe that this could happen. But, you know, again, I'm just not personally a big fan of time travel. I don't think many shows or movies do them right. Um, there's examples of them, like Back to the Future. I love Back to the Future. I think that's a fantastic film. Um, 
you know, so it's not all bad. But again, like, that's the difference, though, right? It's like, you look at a movie like Back to the Future, and it's like, yes, but that's the, that's the, you know, the staple of that movie. That's what you're watching the movie for. You know, I'm not watching Daryl Dixon to watch him time travel. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, that, it, 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 it's a, it's a tough one. It is a tough one. The only time I'd be all right with time travel is if we time traveled to when Daryl was back in Alexandria, and he met Rick, and all this other stuff. Maybe at that point, I'd actually stop my complaining, you know what I mean? But aside from that, I'm like, why the hell are we time traveling, you know? Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. It all depends on execution. It really all depends. And it all depends on if this is even real, you know. Uh, time will tell on that one, too. So... As of right now, that's where I stand on it. As of right now, that's kind of my thoughts on that statement, and uh, we'll see where this one goes. We'll see, uh, you know, if there's any uh, legitimacy to this one uh, or if this is just nothing. So, post comments down below, guys. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Show follow me on Dan's Reviews Official on Instagram, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys very soon for reviews for The Walking Dead Universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Born in the dark alleys, city of concrete Dan's reviews blowing up, never taste defeat Walking dead, dissected every plot twist beat World gone mad, TV junkies hit a tree Typing up scripts, marathon through the night His opinions hit harder than a straight fight Seen every episode, brain sharper than a knife He's the beacon of critique, shedding TV light